With 23 days to go until the election, CBS News checked in with voters in 13 key states that will likely decide the race. Our new battleground tracker poll shows Hillary Clinton has widened her lead among women in those states, while Donald Trump has lost the vote of some Republican women. Overall, Republican voters want party leaders to stand behind Trump despite his recent problems. Errol Barnett takes us through the numbers with our elections director, Anthony Salvanto, in Washington. So, Anthony, what's changed in the 13 battleground states in just these last few weeks? Well, across these states, which will decide the election, Hillary Clinton has now jumped out to a six-point lead. She was tied last month. But what's driving this, Errol, is a big shift among women voters. She was up five points among women last month. Now she's out to a 15-point lead. That's a significant change, and we could be headed for what might be the largest gender gap we've ever seen. And why? I mean, this is following what was said by Donald Trump in the tapes that were released. Yeah, Donald Trump has lost support among women, in, among Republican women as well. So it goes beyond partisanship a little bit. And the poll finds that 70 percent of voters feel that now that Donald Trump does not respect women. What could be trouble for him going forward are these moderate and Republican women are precisely the kind of voters that he needs now to start winning. Because of this, some Republican leaders have distanced themselves from Trump. How do the voters see that? Well, the Republican rank and file would like the party to get behind Donald Trump. Seven and ten say that they should get behind him, and very few want them to push back against Donald Trump. This is a narrative we've seen actually throughout the year where Republican voters are no, don't, don't care very much mm -hmm. what their party leadership has to say. Now, Secretary Clinton still faces challenges of her own with the lingering email controversy. How is that resonating? Yeah, voters say that the contents of those emails have made them feel like Hillary Clinton says different things in private than she says in public. And part of that is wrapped up in her low numbers on telling the truth that those continue to be very low numbers for her. Now, we are approaching the home stretch of this election. Let's listen to what the running mates had to say today, uh, Governor Mike Pence and Senator Tim Kaine. Donald Trump has a message that is, uh, that is enlivening and, and, uh, and, and it's, it, it's, it is, uh, it's resonating with people all across this country and we're going to fight the next 23 days to carry it all the way through Election Day. I've been saying from the beginning that I thought this would be a close election. We are seeing some data about voting, whether it's uh, registrations, early voting, and requests for absentee ballots in key battleground states that we like. Now, the final presidential debate is Wednesday. So how likely is it to change anyone's minds? Well, most people watch a debate rooting for their favorite candidate. It's like a sporting event in that sense, where people have a favorite team. Mm. But there are about a quarter of voters who say, yes, something in the debate might change their minds, but they say, it has to be big. And 73% say it will not change their minds. Anthony Salvanto, our CBS News Elections Director, thanks for breaking it all down for us. Thank you. Elaine? And thanks to our elections team in Washington.